After weeks of debate and discussion, the Arkansas Learns Act is now law. The governor signing her signature education reform plan this afternoon, surrounded by lawmakers and families. Governor Sanders spoke on the new, uh, new look Arkansas Learns will give education in the natural state. We've seen how the status quo condemns Arkansans to a lifetime of poverty. And we're tired of sitting at the bottom of national education rankings. Spanning 145 pages, the bill encompasses topics from teacher pay to critical race theory, school choice, and school safety. And with the signing of that bill, many are still concerned for the future of the state's education system. 5 News reporter Jose Carranza shows us how some worry this bill could potentially clash with a decades-long unconstitutional ruling. With the signing of the Arkansas Learns Act bill, many applauded Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders for the omnibus education bill. But being 145 pages and covering multiple topics, advocates are still concerned. I understand she wants to be the education governor, and I certainly welcome um, the focus and emphasis on education. Um, but as, uh, as is probably clear, I've had some concerns with the legislation throughout the process. Olivia Gardner is the Director of Education Policy for Arkansas Advocates for Children and Families and says she is concerned about the creation of education freedom accounts. She says it could violate the Lakeview District decision, which was a 15-year process that had involvement from the Supreme Court, causing the state to revamp how they funded schools. Any movement with public money flowing away from public schools draws into question for us, will there be enough funding left to make sure that public schools are adequate and equitable enough to meet that constitutional mandate? Before the Senate passed the bill on Tuesday, Senator Frederick Love emphasized that a voucher program was previously created after Brown versus Board of Education. He says it segregated schools and Gardner tends to agree, saying she voiced her concern to committees that a tiered system could be created. Where we have folks on one side who can afford to make up the difference to still attend private school or who already are attending private school. And then on the other side, folks who still won't be able to afford it, even with the education freedom account funds, folks who live in rural areas or folks with disabil families with disabilities. Another thank you to Secretary Oliva. You're not just the guy who had to help write this bill. You're also the guy who's going to get to put it into practice. Your work just got started. Now with the signing of the bill from the governor, it now moves to the Department of Education, where they'll put together working groups of educators to develop rules. This work isn't over yet. There are still, like I said, many ins and outs about the Learns Act that will be decided, that are being decided still. This legislation is this is not done yet. It's really just beginning. Covering news where you live, Jose Carranza, 5 News.